greetings. Welcome to video number nine in our series of customizing ISP config. On this video, what we'll learn is how to start customizing the welcome page um, that the new clients or resellers get as they, they get a new account. So uh, let me actually bring this up so you can see. Uh, so I actually created already uh, a new fab icon and an actual HTML. I just called it ISP config new. Let me zoom in so you guys can see that. Uh, so, so basically I just created this one and this one. So let me show you what this HTML looks like. Uh, let me open my Chrome. So here's Chrome working right now. I'm gonna open a new page. And I'm just gonna drag this thing over. So you just, so what it is is I actually have it to be proportionate. This oops, this uh, GIF file. I have it. It grows as as the browser grows, and it's just a GIF. Basically, it's a, I dumped it into the main site, and I mean excuse me, I dumped this GIF into the site, and it just drags it from there. So we can actually see it's an active uh, page or not active, but it's it works. Um, okay, so now let's go ahead and start getting into the nitty gritty of this. The, what you are gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to do all this from the server. So remember, you're, open your putty, um, open your putty and what you're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna actually do it through Linux because for whatever reason mine's easier I'll still put the command that you would use for um, if you guys run into any issues I'll still put all the commands on there so uh, let me let me actually zoom in okay so here what I'm gonna do is, is SSH to my server Oops. Okay, so once I'm logged in there, then I'm obviously greeted by the server, whatever, whatever. And I'm gonna do this as super user because um, we are gonna be in a section where, um, where basically just the whoever super user is in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate. So we're gonna change directory to user local ISP config server con and forward slash okay hit enter and, you, and let me clear this and once in here you're going to be greeted by all these files the ones that are that we're going to be uh, where the templates are are here here and here and now I'll elaborate a little bit more on these. Um, the files, and I'm gonna bring the folder over. Uh, okay, so mail, mail has all the different languages. So in there, you're gonna start seeing all the different languages. So edit the, the, the languages you need or all the languages. Um, that's really up to you. Um, the, on here, if you go, let's say, I'm gonna just open the ones that are in English because that, that's what I can actually read the best. Um, so if I go here, it tells me what is, what's gonna give him, you know, is near over quota. So this word right here, the website, blah, blah, is near over quota. This is gonna be on a different language. So that's basically what that's for. Um, and, and I mean, once you're in these files, you're, you can actually start figuring out. Index, you'll start noticing that here's the fav icon, and then here's the standard, and all the and it ends with whatever language it, it needs. We're gonna be messing with the EN. Um, and then the user standard, also EN, is what the one we're gonna be messing with. Uh, 403s are basically your error files, uh, web, excuse me, sites. So you would actually have to add, edit all these if you want them to be groomed to yours. Uh, if not, what's gonna happen, you're gonna get that that red. It, remember, it was just red and it gives you the error. So 
enough about that. Let's go ahead and jump back into the server. And so we're going to start affecting index. Okay, so I'm going to cd over to index. And if I ls, here's all the files that we were just looking at. So I'm going to clear this. So once you're there, what we want to do is actually, um, since that's actually cleared already, we are going to, let me ls, we are going to be making a copy of the files that we're going to uh, edit, which is my fab icon, my uh, standard index, this one, oops, and also my user English. Okay, those are the ones that I want to, uh, that I'm, I'm going to edit, but I'll first need to make a copy of them because I don't want to overwrite something and then have to go back. So I'm going to CP copy my fav icon to, and I'm just going to rename it exactly the same thing, uh, fav icon, but I'm going to put the, the, in front of it, I'll put the zero OD. And what that's going to do is going to push it to the very front. See right here? So it's just easy, for me, it's just easier to navigate through it. So I'm going to clear this and I'm going to do the same for the other, for the other one. So I'm going to copy. Uh, so if I LS, now you'll notice that I could get to the files really quick because I could see them in a very, very, very simple manner. So once that's copied, now what we're going to do is, I mean, once that's backed up, now what we're going to do is copy the files. On my case, they're on my on my desktop com computer, and I'm going to push them, pull them from my desktop computer into the server. So how you accomplish this is SP, uh, SCP, so it's going to be, um, it's, it's just like your SSH, but it's SCP for copy. And where you, where's the file located? The first piece is where the file is. So in my case, I have to log in um, to my serve to my workstation here, and I have to put the IP of where it resides two two seven, and then I, I'm a, now I could actually put the location of where the file is. So the file resides in under my home folder, Linux Mac, and under my index folder. So I want to dump the file. This file, the fav icon, I want to dump that into that folder. So it's going to talk to my, my workstation, and here it is right here. This would be the password to my local workstation, not the server. And there it is. The file got pulled from my desktop over to the server. And we're going to do the same thing to that index file. If I ls into this, you'll notice that now my fav icon, it was just overwritten. That one's right, just right off the back. But this one, the ISP config, I need to actually chmod into it because you can notice it's not green. Since that file is going to be edited a bunch of times, not edited, but pulled, it needs to be writable. So I'm going to clear this. I'm going to chmod 777 and then uh, ISP config. So now if I actually do a LS, you'll notice that now it's, it's read and writable, okay? So once that's done, now I need to copy this to overwrite both of these for me right now. Just, so you could just get, a, get an idea. So clear that. So I'm gonna copy my ISP config to and then I'm going to overwrite uh, en. So I'm going to, this file is going to copy into this one. So it's just going to overwrite it. Okay. And it doesn't ask you, if you do it as root, it just does it. It doesn't even, so you do have to be careful when you do the, a lot of this stuff. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the ISP config. I'm going to use the same file for the users that en. I'm not going to do every language. I'm just going to do one. Hit enter. So now both of these files, which are the ones that we need, are actually, uh, they've already been overwritten. Okay, so to the server side, we're actually done. We could actually exit this, exit, and I'm gonna exit this. Now we're gonna do everything, we're gonna start doing everything from the actual um, ISP config itself. So let me open my Chrome. 
Okay, so there's Chrome. And let me log in as the admin. And I'm going to do this just as admin. Uh, just You could actually do it as it might be the reseller. But remember, it's going to be whoever's ad admitting, administrating the server. So more likely that's going to be you. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to Sites. And I'm going to create a new site. So new site, client. Remember how we have a reseller now? So but I'm going to st still continue with the C1, which is the freelance tech. Um, IP, remember we just have one, so it's just that one. You could just leave the star, it will work the same. Now the, the, the domain name, so let me zoom in. So the domain name is going to be, um, we'll keep it shorter, uh, isp.tu for tutorial, how about that, keep it simple. Um, and I'm, he's, he, this site's going to have everything. Okay, SSL, P PHP, uh, PHP is going to be fast, and version is going to be default. Okay, zoom out a little bit. I'm going to save this. Okay, so now we have a new site. Now remember, the next thing you have to do is create a SSL certificate. So we go back into it. You can see the site's barely getting getting uh, generated. Now the, this piece right here is actually being pulled by that file that we just created. Uh, then we're going to go to our SSL. On mic, you just put your whatever whatever info you're going to put on there. Houston. Then at the very bottom, remember, there's action. We're going to go ahead and create one. Uh, you can't see it. Let me zoom out. Okay, so we're going to create it. So we're going to create the certificate. We're going to save it. And now we're going to wait for this to, to go away. Okay, so that took, you know, it took about three minutes. So now what we're going to do is go back into our site. In regard to our SSL, you'll notice that now we have an SSL certificate. Okay, so we got that out of the way. I'm going to save this. Okay, we're going to let that run. I just have a habit of saving it. Uh, on the older versions, if you didn't save it, it, it just wouldn't go anywhere. Um, so that's why it's just a habit. So, yeah. Okay, so now that's cleared. Now the next thing we're going to do, remember, we're going to set up a DNS. Because now the server doesn't know exactly what to do with it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on Add New DNS Zone. The client would be our C1 or whatever client you use. Let me zoom in. Oops. Uh, that should be good right there. So the domain is going to be our isp.tu. And then the IP would be, you would choose whatever server. I mean, so in our case, we just have one. So we just choose that one. Remember your NS, uh, you'll get it from either your, uh, for, a, for a name server, it is recommended to have two static IPs. So your name servers are being uh, replicated that way. But I mean, I've seen people do it all kinds of different ways. But uh, I, me personally, I use good GoDaddy's. That's GoDaddy's, uh, I use GoDaddy's, iPowers, and uh, Name cheap. Those are the three that I personally use. So, but anyways, ns.1. And I'm going to just put this as um, the same thing isp.tu. Um, isp.tu. And we're going to go ahead and create the zones. So, let me zoom, zoom out so you can actually see it. So, just by doing that, there's eight things that it's going to do. So, you let it finish doing its. its so what I'm going to do is, is let's go ahead and open a, a new tab and let's test this thing out. So HTTP uh, ISP.tu and there's the page. So you can see that my our default page has now been changed to this GIF file. GIFs, I do 
use GIFs every once in a while, um, but I, obviously I have them scroll slower. So if there are uh, instructions for the customer to go through, they come up, it's simple, it's, it draws very little power. I mean, very little bandwidth. Um, that's what I use. So again, um, all that good jazz, subscribe, thumbs up, and hopefully this made sense. If it didn't, put it on the comments, and I'll definitely try to help you guys out. Um, again, thanks a lot.